This is a European Pied Flycatcher at a nest box in the Netherlands. And it is about to make a bad decision. How did this Pied Flycatcher end up getting killed inside this great tit's nest? And what is the link with climate change? To understand this, let's first zoom out a little bit. This is a snapshot of a forest in the Netherlands in May. There's a nest box attached to this tree and there's another 1,000 such nest boxes in this study area. These nest boxes are readily used by a variety of forest-dwelling birds and allow us to monitor their breeding behavior in great detail. For this research, we focused on the main occupants of the nest boxes, the pied flycatchers on the top left and the gray tits on the bottom right. Apart from their reliance on cavities, both bird species raise their offspring largely on a caterpillar diet. Caterpillars are a high quality food source which are only available for a short period during spring. So birds have to time their breeding well to make use of this resource. When two species rely on similar limiting resources, they are said to be interspecific competitors. Interspecific competition can take place over divisible resources, in our case caterpillars, or indivisible resources, in our case nesting cavities. In short, both species need nest boxes and caterpillars, but how does climate change affect any of this? Well, it has been shown that as the climate warms, both caterpillars and birds advance their timing. Notice two things here. One, the caterpillars shift faster than the birds do because they are more responsive to temperature, and two, Greatest shift faster than pied flycatchers. So why do greatest shift their timing more than pied flycatchers? This has to do with their life cycle. Pied flycatchers spend two thirds of their year in Africa and only migrate to Europe in early spring. Climate change progresses at different rates in Africa compared to Europe. Therefore, flycatchers are uninformed about temperature at their breeding grounds. Greatest, on the other hand, are year-round residents in Europe and can therefore respond flexibly to temperature changes at the breeding grounds. Because climate change has caused directional selection on timing, however, flycatchers now arrive earlier than before, even in cold years. This means that in cold years, pied flycatchers and greatest are much more synchronous than before. As a result, we found that this leads to higher interference competition for nest boxes, leading to more flycatcher victims in synchronous years. This effect was especially strong in years after mild winters, when more greatest survived to breed in the next spring. Find out more about this study in Current Biology's second issue of 2019.